Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight, we focus on exit strategies. Last week, we played MU. We showed you exactly how we played MU with an exit strategy that we found ahead. We found the exit point ahead of trading it. Knowing when to exit makes it a lot easier. Knowing when to enter is one thing. However, knowing when to exit is the hard part. And if you, if you gamble on anything, looking at, oh, this could be good enough or this is green enough, that's fine. However, knowing the exit ahead of time, think you may be able to maximize your play and go with a safer play. So this is the NVIDIA play that we played today. And I'll show you how we played it and this we're looking at the chart of mu right uh sorry nvidia um from last friday the red line is support from last friday and what i'd like to show you is this how it acted um after hours in this morning pre-market look at this it went down further than last week's support so when you lose support you know that whoever was buying on that support is no longer there. So it's showing really weakness. So look how weak it was. It's not looking well. It's finding a way to the even lower. And eventually it finds a low, which is right there. And this is where I drew a blue line and Blue line is the support from pre-market. Let's keep going on that one, right? So it's really on that support. So what it's telling you is on that line, we find buyers. And when we find buyers, what happens is what? Chances are we will reclaim that red line, which is the previous support because there's basically no one else in between. So let's move towards the top. And this is exactly what it did, right? So we know there's a possibility that, yeah, it is filled. And I think it does, right? Very close, not quite, but very close. At the bell, it just went down further past the support, the pre-market support, right? Pre-market support is where is now gone we're going lower let's move further so you know that this bottom is not interested in interesting me however um eventually if we were to break that blue line if we break the blue line chances are we will reclaim the red line you guys all see this right so it see how it touched it rejected and now it's coming back down However, we come to a point where it's really trying and no, rejecting and then no. So I'm keep walk, I'll keep watching, keep watching, be patient. Now it's turning back up and it looks like it's about to go, right? It's consolidating, so meaning that sellers are fewer and buyers are coming in force so when it gets narrower like this see this they call it sometimes a bull flag i don't like these names that these people that everyone is, is uh, calling this intraday tiny little thing but it does look like a flag it wants to pop up and then pops right it pops just a hair above this blue line and this blue line now means that we are on the buyer's side we are testing it sometimes we will get through with volume and this time well not enough volume it looks you see this volume is increasing the volume bar at the bottom here is increasing and we're popping through but not it's rejecting it's consolidating it's staying on the line um, it may be a little scary, but we alerted the 300 as soon as we crossed the line. And the idea is to make it 
to the red line or in this particular case to the pre-market high which is 300 see this line this 300 line that we're looking at is a 300 and we call 300 target and check and let's keep moving just to show you what happened and how with knowing where we're going it makes it easier so let's keep going on this one right we're reaching higher and as soon as we reached this top here this is the exit and now we all know we have secured the play and everyone's happy <coughs> now eventually it can go on it can cross it it can move higher we don't care we entered here we were happy because plan worked we moved all the way there knowing in advance where we were going one thing i want to show you is this we are also playing with i'll show you what we alerted here on the cross and took profit here so remember this line and i'll show you something special that we have you've probably seen this um, JTW is the inst instigator of this play, not this play, but Neptune. And Neptune is showing you um, to enter long at 1120 um, or maybe just a little after. On this one it must be 1130 we entered at 1134 Neptune was already calling it long just a hair of a ahead of us right here and we took the exit there Neptune is still in so it's just showing you that Neptune also agreed and was there even before us on that play so all in all Folks, keep in mind that knowing the exit ahead of time, ahead of entering, makes it a lot easier. Review the play from last week on MU. Review this play again today, and it will show you that it is easy with support and resistance to establish where to exit and makes it a lot easier. So I hope this is helping, and I hope you guys are learning don't forget to subscribe. Um, you will get all these no notifications from us sending um, new videos. And if you learned something, just give us a like. Thanks, folks. See you soon.